Uh, joining me now, former assistant director to the FBI, uh, Bill Gavin. Bill, uh, this is an, another incident, one person involved with a, with a vehicle mowing down victims, whether on bicycles or pedestrians. This looks like the, the weapon of choice now for, for ISIS, uh, as they talked about bringing attacks uh, to Halloween. It certainly is, Lou. This is what uh, they've been commanded to do. Rather than complicated, uh, many person attacks, simply use a vehicle and, and do it that way. But this incident just brings back the tragedy that, that I was involved with in 1993, a rental truck out of Jersey City, New Jersey, uh, West End Avenue, right across from uh, a few blocks down from the FBI office and across the street from the, from the uh, center. It was, this is just terrible. And now we uh, are able to show that it's a, an individual, uh, I believe he's from Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. and um, uh, once more, uh, horrible tragedy, people, eight people killed, 12 injured, who knows uh, how seriously, but they have to be hurt terribly. Well, this is just a horrible mm -hmm. thing. And his, here he yells, Alu Akbar, which m translates really, Allah is great, because for radical Islamist extremists, there is no God other than Allah. So yeah. God is great. It really means Allah is great. And New York police, uh, uh, uniform patrol, uh, the officer shooting uh, the man, wounding him. Uh, he's at a nearby hospital. We understand that he is also in surgery. That may or may not be the case at this very moment, uh, but that was the understanding earlier. You mentioned Uzbekistan. Uh, we do know his name is Uzbek, but we do not know for sure where he is from, where he lives. Uh, we know very little indeed about him at this point. Uh, the suspect apparently was shot twice. Give us a sense of what is going on right now. Is there a sense uh, amongst law enforcement and the intelligence uh, community uh, that there is any broader plan because of Halloween? Because ISIS did, after all. Uh, send out uh, messages earlier that they wanted to do something uh, around Halloween. Well, as we refer to the New York City Police, the, the, the you know, the best, uh, the men in blue, they are the best in the world. And <clears throat> what they did today was just terrific in terms of bringing down the suspect in a rapid fashion before he did even more damage than he set out to do. And right now, Lou, yes, uh, the, with, the, with the Halloween parade on... Uh, uh, in Soho, uh, you have uh, more trash trucks blocking off streets. You have a greater presence of police with long barrel weapons. It is really, uh, the, they have really gone into a, not a lockdown, but they've gone into some really heavy coverage of the parade area, but they do not want um, uh, New Yorkers to give up and, and turn over their city to mm -hmm. the terrorists. Right now, yeah. For, for really, they're, they're tearing this guy apart uh, the, in, in terms of electronics. Where's, where does he live and everything else? Bill, I, you know, I, you and I know each other pretty well. The one thing that I, I do think, and we're hearing a lot, a number of people say it, in, uh, including uh, uh, the mayor, uh, New Yorkers are not going to turn over anything to anyone. Uh, I, I, I think officials need to let go of that now, frankly. Uh, that isn't who we are. We don't have to be told that. Uh, and uh, I, I'm very confident uh, that the, the spines of New Yorkers will remain uh, very strong indeed throughout all of this. Uh, we worry, of course, about the, the, the health, the security, uh, uh, the safety of uh, our fellow citizens. Uh, but uh, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm always proud of New Yorkers full on, full time, uh, and I would not make an exception uh, in this instance at all. Uh, Bill, it's I great. I totally to, agree, Lou. It's totally great. Agree. As, it's in the DNA. There you to go. Be just New and Yorkers. You, and you know That's what's what really great? That DNA has spread all over the country. Uh, yes, and, it has. And, and if you're an American, you're not going to be uh, intimidated, and it's not going to be. I, I, I wish our officials would just get on with the business of leading the country, uh, and I'm sure that uh, the result will be great, uh, and they will be have they will have the full united support of. Uh, Americans everywhere in this country.